Military buff, I recommend uh, I recommend checking it out. Again, free to the public in the basement of the Paul Memorial Auditorium. And then make this turn here. If you look to your left, tip your cap to a Tennessee hero. You can see a statue of a soldier. That is Elvin C. York from Paul Mall, Tennessee. Recipient of the Medal of Honor during World War One for single-handedly taking a German machine gun nest with just a pistol. Across the street, that's St. Mary of the Seven Sorrows Catholic Church. It's the oldest church of Nashville, built in the 1840s. Served as a hospital during the Civil War. And get this, in the basement of that church, entombed is an old priest. He died in 1866. His body is still not decomposed. The word for that in the Catholic faith is incorruptible. He's up for sainthood. He would be Tennessee's first saint, unless you include Dolly Parton, obviously. I look to the right. It may not look like much. This is the Municipal Auditorium, a preeminent concert venue here in the 20th century. All the biggest stars performed right there. Michael Jackson's only performance in Nashville, right there. Uh, Jimi Hendrix, Elton John, Bruce Springsteen, Elvis Presley, Rolling Stones, Grateful Dead, Black Sabbath, they all performed right there. Line the walls of those of the uh, Minnesota Auditorium on the inside are enlarged ticket studs from those concerts. A 1974 Rolling Stones ticket only cost you 10 bucks. This is our stop number six, the Musicians Hall of Fame. It's in the basement of the Minnesota Auditorium. It does close every day at 5, so if you are getting off, just keep that in mind. I'll tell you a little bit more about this Hall of Fame after I make the stop. And I do have to send a seat down here. Now, keep in mind it's called the Musicians Hall of Fame. It honors singers and songwriters from all genres, not just country music. Pretty prestigious Hall of Fame to get into, pretty tough. You have to be inducted in by your contemporaries in your genre. If you saw the poster back there, or you can still see it now if you look to your right, you can see, you can see a sample of some of those inductees right there. Everyone from Bob Dylan, Elvis Presley, Jimi Hendrix, Willie Nelson, Toto, Elton John, Chuck Berry. They're all going to be honored right inside there. It's a pretty cool museum. Highly interactive. they got a lot of interactive exhibits. I always recommend it to uh, people with kids. It's a fun museum for kids. Very, very cool. And if you're just a fan of music, I recommend checking out the Musicians Hall of Fame. It's got different wings dedicated to the different artists who contributed to the growth of Nashville's music scene. So they got, you know, they got a Garth Brooks wing and a Johnny Cash wing. My favorite is their Jimi Hendrix wing. They got an entire part of the museum dedicated to Jimi Hendrix. Now, some people may be shocked by this. Jimi Hendrix used to live in Nashville. Maybe shock's not the word. Maybe it's a 